Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, just hauled another load of dung. It's currently Saturday, just 10 past 11 on Saturday morning. So, we at the cows this morning, hauled just one load of dung, and um, now we're going to the market because we're looking for another bull because our bull sadly had to go. Yeah, was lame. So, uh, we're going to go and see what's there. <laughs> from the sale now uh, we did actually buy a bull um, this is a Hereford bull from the same place we got our, um, our previous one from same farm same sire which was King Kong uh, this one's called Edgar so um, yeah I didn't film him coming through the ring but now she's gone to pick him up now me and Kieran are back hauling poo Kieran's just loading me up now so yeah, we, um, he's only a small young bull, but that's what we want because we want him to go on our dairy heifers, so we don't want anything too big because we don't want big calves that are hard to calve and will sort of damage our heifers. So yeah, we were happy enough with him, so I'll show you him later on when Dad brings him back. But for now, I'm just going to pour some more muck. I think this is the last load from this pile here and then there's a couple of sheds to clean out so we'll get that done and then we should be done here and then there's some more at the other pile and we can haul across the tyres on this handler definitely aren't ideal for loading muck um, hopefully they get our one fixed soon so we can have it back because um, those agricultural tyres are much better So, what do people think? Do you prefer the yellow or the blue? I think I prefer the yellow. I'm um, the blue, sorry, not the yellow. I like the grey rims so. though. Here he is, this is Edgar. He's only young, so he's a bit on the small side, but he'll be ideal for our heifers. And that's some of Cosmo's calves, which were Edgar's half brother, I suppose. Milking time again. Round Swiss cross. Smile. Right, it's the next morning. Done milk because it's just gone half nine. We let the cows out into that paddock to try and get to this nibble off a little bit they've left there. You can just see the fence there. And then, I don't know if you can see the post very well. I fenced a new area here with a gateway up where Kieran is there. So we're going to fence this. And then they can come in here as well. And then we'll just move this every day. This is a nice big field move that fence a bit every day and keep them going fresh. Uh, See they're uh, keen to get in there, they're a bit, uh, a bit annoyed that we haven't given them any extra yet because they're used to coming out and having nice fresh grass because we were moving the fence along this way in that paddock. But they ran out in there so we're into this one. It's, almost, it's too much grass here really but we don't want to cut any because um, we don't want to have not enough so we might end up cutting some of this. 
There's not so much rice in that paddock, but there is the water trough down there. That's the only water trough we've got here, that black bit there. Um, so we didn't want to move it up here to then move it back into here after we've cut this. So we'll just graze this one off and then we'll see what happens. We might cut the next one over the hedge there. But this one's not too bad, but he's big, so I'm gonna have to split it up some way because he's it'll be a lot to move every time and he won't be moving it very much because he goes all the way to the trees and those trees are in the middle so it keeps going that way as well i think it's about 15 acres but it's quite a big square field so every direction it's uh, a long way to move fence whereas this one's long and narrow or not narrow but long and it's more rectangular so it's easier to move the fence you don't have to move so much fence all the time i think here i'm selling it off i'm gonna connect this up and then run my trip grazing fence along there so you can see that's what they ate off yesterday but there is a reasonable bit there but they're just being a bit greedy because they want the nice fresh stuff so we'll let we'll still leave this open so they can go back in there and maybe pick it off a bit uh, but it was quite long it was sort of probably longer than this in here similar to that sort of length so it is a bit long for grazing but the trouble is we couldn't get the cows out that early because it's so wet down here but um yeah anyway they're out now and they're happy here comes Kieran in his nice pink t-shirt she did the splits so she got shackles on should be able to take them off though she's not too bad now they're happy now anyway Just watching the water pipe, but they seem to be stepping over it all right. It's all a bit temporary set up. The water pipe just runs along the hedge here at the minute. I could do with just bearing it across that gateway. Right, so we're back at the other farm. Uh, me and Dad are just picking up the bales we bailed in the other video the other day. This is the new, uh, that new lay we bailed. Uh, there's 60 bells exactly in here, Dad, so there's probably another bell in that wet spot that we didn't mow, but that's probably dry enough to mow now, so next time we have the mowers on, Kieran will just whip out here and um, mow it up. So we're just out here picking up, we're literally right next to the yard, so Dad's only putting sort of a load on at a time, and then we're just whizzing back and unloading them. No need to strap them, because we're only stacking them. You can see the stack right there above that caravan. So yeah, we're not going very far, so it means it makes pick them in quick. And then we've got to go down the road to focus over there. Um, and pick those up. I think there's another 50-ish in that field. So yeah, we're just out picking them up. Kieran's moving some sheep. So he's going to do that and then this afternoon I expect we will put the dung spreader and the trailer back on and pour some more dung. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. I don't think, oh, I've got grease on my face. I don't think I ended the last video, so I'll just end it now quickly. So we got all the bells picked in um, and stacked in the yard, so there's no more bells out in the field at the minute. And that was about it. So then, um, I've just, we've just put the plow on to go prep some maize, but I'll do that in the next video. So I'll end this one here. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.